a film which is part of one police force's internet campaign against domestic violence. They're actors in the footage, but the 999 call is real. Bruce, the police caller. What's going on there? How many children have you got? We spoke to a mother of two whose husband tried to strangle her. She was ready to testify against him in court. But then she was let down by the police. Having made that decision and having mentally prepared myself for it, I then got a phone call um, to say that the police hadn't put a good enough case together and the CPS wouldn't take it forward for prosecution. And that was absolutely devastating. Every fortnight in England and Wales, three women are killed by their current or ex-partner. Men are also victims of domestic violence. Today's report says that in most forces, it's a priority on paper, but not in practice. That's what the leading domestic violence charity Refuge has been saying for years. We need a huge cultural change around domestic violence. It needs to be seen as real crime. Domestic violence is as serious as any other violent crime, if not more serious, because the attacker has the key to the front door. Among the issues highlighted in today's report are a lack of leadership by senior officers, what are described as alarming weaknesses when it comes to basics like collecting evidence, and some victims who don't feel they're believed. The message to Chief Constables is very clear. This is appalling, we need urgent action, and I expect you to lead that action and make sure it happens in your force. Police target football fans with their campaigns. There's often an increase in attacks after big matches. This is a poster used by the Greater Manchester Force, one of those most heavily criticised in today's report. We actually think we need to be more ambitious, and in particular we need a different system of control and protection through the courts, which would get us in front of a magistrate much quicker, without requiring uh, a victim to make a complaint, and which would allow a range of different professionals to give information, intelligence, evidence into that system. Like other police leaders, he says the focus has to be on all parts of the criminal justice system, not just the police. June Kelly, BBC News.